the global stage. Did you know that if you were the only person on earth, Jesus would have still come to die for you? When you suspect somebody of alcohol intoxication, Putin chose this war, and now he and his country will bear the consequences. But have you ever wondered how long it took Adam to sin against God from the day he was created? To take from you to give to another person such that we can remove his heart and replace it with that of the, uh, of the animal. Love does not demand its own way, mm -hmm. my goodness. Welcome to the global stage. Hello, welcome to the global stage. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Today, I want to talk to you about your kidneys and some of the ways you can get rid of waste product from your kidneys. And one of the waste products I'm going to talk to you today is uric acid. And uh, you know, there are basically five important organs in the human body. The first one is the brain. The second one is the heart. The third one is the lungs. The fourth one is the kidney. And the fifth one is the liver. And today I'm going to talk to you about your kidneys and how to detoxify your kidneys from waste. Let's take a short break. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So let's learn something about your kidney and the uric acid. And then I'm going to give you some ways to detoxify your kidneys from uric acid. Now, the kidney is a bean-shaped organ responsible for filtering minerals from the blood, maintaining overall fluid balance, excreting waste products, and regulating blood volume. And the kidney it's one of the major important organs of the human body that needs special attention. Remember the five important organs I just spoke to you about. Now, what is this waste product I'm talking about? It is called uric acid. So let's look at uric acid as well. Now, uric acid is primarily a waste product found in the blood when the body breaks down chemicals called purines. Although it is a waste product, it has some neuro stimulating properties and some non-oxidative properties so it is not all that bad most uric acid dissolves in the blood then passes through the kidneys and then leaves the body through your urine when there's too much of uric acid in the blood it is a condition called hyperuricemia which causes crystals of uric acid to form settling at the joints and the kidneys and some of the diseases caused by high levels of uric acid include gout and then kidney stones and so today i'm talking to you how to get rid of uric acid from your kidneys because uric acid too much of uric acid causes kidney stones and as you can see from the, pic the picture i gave you you see some deposit of crystals of uric acid in the left part of the kidney so you can compare the normal kidney and the one called a kidney stone so what you see there is the disease called kidney stones where there's an accumulation of crystals of uric acid in your kidneys but before i talk about how to get rid of it let's look at some of the risk factors that can when talk about risk factors, we are dealing with things that can increase one's chance of developing kidney stones or developing high levels of uric acid crystals in your kidney. Now, the first risk factor is alcohol consumption. The second factor is red meat consumption or protein foods, especially milk and beans. The other one is fructose drinks. Then those who are pre-diabetic or diabetic, then people who, who have high blood pressure also can also develop uric acid accumulation in their kidneys. Now, the other one is those who consume a lot of chocolate and, the, and those who have low hydrated pests, that is, they don't hydrate, they don't drink enough water. The other last risk factor is obesity. So these are the risk factors. These are things that can increase one's chances of developing kidney stones. Now, let's look at some pictures of normal kidneys and diseased kidneys. Now, the first one is disease kidney called the polycystic kidney. You, as you can see, when you compare the normal kidney to the diseased kidney, they see a vast difference. So that is a diseased kidney. The other one, as you can see, is also a diseased kidney. 
and then you have the normal dis disease kidney and then a live disease kidney so you see a very, a very fine shaped kidney normal kidney but look at the diseased one very rough and bloody as well now having said that let's go to how you can get rid of uric acid from your kidneys and these are simple home remedies you could do you don't need to get a lot of drugs and take so the first ways to get or to detoxify your kidneys from uric acid is sodium bicarbonate properly called baking soda baking soda is one of the ways to get rid of uric acid from your kidneys how do you prepare it you take two teaspoons of baking soda into one liter of water then you drink during your fasting state that is at bedtime do not take it right after eating so i said do not take during or after meals or else it will affect hcl hcl is actually your digestive acid that helps you digest the food you eat so once you take baking soda right after eating or before eating you are neutralizing the potency of hcl which is also good for your digestion so you take baking soda at bed and that is when you are by sleeping that's when you take the best time to take baking soda now this the last ways or the second way to get rid of uric acid is taking what we call potassium citrate potassium citrate is used to treat and prevent kidney stones for symptomatic relief potassium citrate makes your urine less acidic this effect helps the kidney get rid of uric acid so these are the ways to, to get rid of uric acid which is a waste product from your kidneys so that you will not develop kidney stone or even if you have kidney stones to get rid of it number one you need sodium bicarbonate which is called baking soda and then you need potassium citrate as well any of them will do for you now the golden rule to prevent one from getting kidney stones or to reduce kidney stones risks is to increase their vegetables and then decrease protein foods especially animal proteins if you follow this golden rule then you will not develop kidney stones even if you have kidney stones in time all the crystals of the uric acid will, will be dissolved and you can pass it through your urine and you'll be fine remember the kidney is one of the major important organ of the human body and it needs special attention and so once you do this you are helping your kidneys function in the best way they can so this are the ways to get rid of uric acid from your kidneys i hope you enjoyed this video god bless you see you some other time bye bye the global stage of the global stage of the global stage